increased itself all total is 24,000 acres. 14,000 acres of that is actually lake water. So the huntable acres, 10,000 acres of huntable area. We rented a, a mulcher, and that's what all this debris is in here from, a lot of smaller stuff in here. But the biggest aggravation to me is these bigger pear trees. And at some point in time, this was either bush hog or burned in here. And when you kill, when you ground kill, basically that's killing that tree from the ground up. You don't kill the roots. It comes up and you look and you've got, you know, you two, that's got two sprouts. That one's got five. That one's got three massive sprouts. You know, you get multiple stems on these. And this whole area right over here was left like that. I'll say all, but it's not completely Bradford Fair. There's a few privet scared in it. And this whole section all down through here is all the same way. I mean, that's 200 yards worth right here. That this whole area, you know, this is, I've got autumn olive right here. That'll be treated. So uh, these are all invasive, you know. And I'll be, this is a battle that'll, that'll continue because just right straight across the street, we've got a large housing development and a lot of these people have their Bradford pears and that's where these seeds come from. Birds will eat the small pears. They make a pear that's about the size of the end of your finger, uh, uh, but they'll eat it, come over here, poop out the seeds and here we go. And if you don't, uh, don't keep them under control, this is what you get in about, uh, this is probably six, eight, 10 years right here. So. We'll go down through here, and there's eight or ten right down through here. I want to get rid of some bigger ones. I am using a, a herbicide, Garlon. Easy, but this big one right here, this is a. Uh, it's either cut it down and treat the stump, or I can kill it standing here. You want a, one of those hacks for every uh, every six inches of of, of basal growth. and hopefully that will take care of that tree. Leave it standing, there'll be a little bit of habitat, you know, for something. Uh, woodpeckers, uh, they love dead and dying trees. Woodpeckers will be good to use it. Everything you're looking at on that outside edge is either a Bradford pear, the tall ones, you're seeing privet, is the greeny green, short, bushy stuff, and then the silvery stuff is actually autumn olive. Uh, those three, if, if Percy Priest WMA was absent of those three, Percy Priest would be an awesome place for wildlife. It's old, there's no fence there, but it's the old fence row goes up through there. And it was let go on this side and on the far side, really. And it's just, it's, it's amazing to walk into that and they're like, wow, there's nothing here but Bradford pears. Literally nothing. There's no brambles, there's no briars, there's no grasses, there's no forbs, there's nothing growing in there but Bradford pears. We're in here in the thicket, pretty thick right in here. And if you look at the ground, I'm looking at moss, and I'm looking at small privet. And here's an autumn olive. The, and, and Bradford pears all around me. They, these guys can compete in shade. We have a few natives that can compete in shade, but nothing like these three. This area is just not really conducive. It's pretty good cover for deer to come in and lay in, but uh, rabbits are not gonna use this. They'll run through it. There's just no place for them to hide because the coyotes can come in here, they can see them. Uh, turkeys are not gonna nest in here. There, there's no light in here. I mean, you know, these things are, you know, what? 20, 25, 30, you know, some of them 30 feet tall, you know? So that just, they, that cuts out all the sunlight in here. All this is gonna be down on the ground. I'm gonna basically raise the whole area, get it down to the ground. Let it lay here for a year. Uh, and not the year, six months. Let it all get good and dyed and crispy. And hopefully in the fall, everything goes right. I'll have a fire line around it and I can burn this entire area, getting rid of all this top stuff. And then next year, this hopefully will be just the most awesome looking, I don't know what you want to call it, just uh, early successional grassy, uh, weedy field. And that's what I want. And that's what it's gonna take is getting rid of these pear trees to get some sunlight on the ground. So there's seeds already here waiting to be, waiting to be, waiting to germinate. So that's, you know, I don't have to add anything to this to have what I want. I may have to tweak it a little bit to keep it like I want it, but I don't have to add anything to it to make, make this a flourishing area for multiple wildlife species. Every day is different. And I said this 
even back before while I was an officer, that I want to leave an er this area better than I found. Now, whether that's through law enforcement, whether that's through habitat management, habitat work, or, you know, hands-on wildlife work, you know, banding wood ducks, banding doves, uh, going over and helping band geese. To be able to get out there and do some of that work to gain knowledge, to help others gain knowledge. You know, I want to leave things better than I found them. And so far, so far, quote unquote, I think I've done that. I've still got a long way to go, but it feels good. Nice.